Hey fellow YouTubers, I'm finally back on. My power just turned back on today. I got my phone, my internet going again. But guys, Hurricane Michael did a lot of damage to my town of Donaldsonville, Georgia. It damaged my dad's yard. It damaged my dad's roof of his home it knocked shingles off it damaged my dad's shop it knocked it knocked five or six trees down big trees but there's something i must say i was in my mobile home when it hit i know i shouldn't been in there but I was worrying about my two dogs, Bo and Lady. I'd rather stay in, in a home, in a trailer to protect them. But guys, I'm going to tell you, I, my trailer rocked side to side. When that wind hit my trailer, it was rocking it. It was. It was rocking it. But I'm okay. We can rebuild. But there was one life lost. It was a 15-year-old girl down at Lake Seminole. A tree fell on her house. But it don't show on this video. I'm about to show you. Let's get on with the video, okay? Right across the Florida Georgia line, Chris, you have covered serious storms for more than 20 years. I saw on Facebook you mentioned that you'd never seen damage to this extent. I never have. I've that never experienced a hurricane like this deal. before, and I've covered many of them over my many years here at 11 Alive. Number one, the, the strength and the fury of this storm, but then also the aftermath of this storm as well. When you just pitched to me, you said, and folks, she's right, I'm not in Florida anymore. This is in Georgia. Take a look at this. As this storm, as Hurricane Michael came through southwest Georgia right now, we're in Seminole County in, Do in Donaldsonville, Georgia. This still was a Category 3 storm. We had reports from the fire department here of winds uh, recorded at 115 miles an hour, and they said that there are even some farmers that have their own weather equipment that measured wind gusts that were close to 150 miles an hour. And folks, this just shows that a storm like this is not just for folks along the coast. These storms can go well inland, and this is the kind of damage that it can produce. And this is just one instance of this. Christy Etheridge is here with us uh, this afternoon as well. You woke up with her this morning as well with our coverage on Morning Rush. Christy, we had an opportunity to drive around uh, not only from Panama City to Mariana and now into southwest Georgia, and it's amazing to see the scope of the damage even here. Yeah, especially knowing where we came from in Panama city and seeing the damage at ground level from after going through the hurricane there at the coast and seeing how bad the damage still is 120 miles plus inland it's it's breathtaking really let's show you some video because we went to a neighborhood just a couple blocks from where we're standing and these trees massive huge trees you know have been there for probably decades are now down multiple down on houses usually uh, the houses over there had I would venture to say five to ten trees on top of them at a time. Some of them even, not even splintering, but bending from the force of the wind. And uh, you mentioned the farmers clocking gusts up to 150. Fire Rescue, just a couple blocks from where we're standing, said they got gusts up to 125. That's just, it's incredible because when we spoke to people who live in that neighborhood, they were describing what it was like being in the middle of that. And they were describing a situation very similar to what we experienced down in Panama City. Uh, why don't you take a listen and hear it in their own words? It's bad, man. Uh, half of the town is gone, and it, my house in the country, it's pretty much gone. Just everything is just everywhere. I know you're a grown man, but were you a little scared? I was way scared. I was scared more for my mom than myself, you know? Like I said, trees falling everywhere. One could have fell, and same thing could have happened to us. She, she can't move around that fast. 
After seeing that kind of damage, now you can understand why it would take first responders to so long to get somewhere. They were telling me that it took them hours to go just a couple of miles, but the beauty in destruction like this is that the community comes out and we're told that farmers, because this is such an agricultural community, they brought out all of their heavy equipment and helped clear the way when they needed to try and get somewhere. And that's just so great that the community did help because it's all about helping other people as well. And folks, let me tell you, this is going to be a story that is going to be around for a long time, not only in Panama City, uh, that was ground zero or the target zone for this storm, uh, but also even here in parts of Georgia as well, Cheryl.